Hi there. Today we're celebrating Pinot Gris Day, Pinot Grigio Day, you might want to call it. Um, and the wine I've chosen for, to, to look at today is Santa Margarita's Pinot Grigio Valdardige 2019. So it's a DOC. Um, and my reason for choosing this was that um, when recently we wrote um, an article on our most searched for Pinot Gris and Pinot Grigio globally, this wine came fourth in that. Um, ahead of it, um, there was um, Zindelbrecht's classic Rang and Dathan uh, at third. At second, there was a Montinore L'Orange, um, so I presume an orange wine Pinot Gris from the Willamette Valley. And at first place was Santa Margarita's Alto RDJ Pinot Gris. So these guys have very much cornered the market on Pinot Grigio. Um, the company Santa Margarita um, claim that in 1961 they were the first people to um, think that if you stop making Pinot Gris as a sort of a fairly rich heavy white wine that had had some contact with its skins um, you could make an elegant fresh wine that was easy drinking and very approachable um, so they started producing this wine cool fermenting it in stainless steel tanks with um, a little bit of Lee's age probably, um, no oak aging or anything like that, and, and created a, a, a fresh, um, very approachable white wine. Um, today, they make somewhere in the region of, uh, well, just over 19 million cases a year. Um, their success was exploiting this in the US market, where um, every year now they sell somewhere in the region of 50 million euros worth of wine. So, um, hugely successful brand, hugely popular worldwide. Um, just look at it, it's very pale in the glass. Um, aromas, aromas are quite simple, they're um, but you know, relatively powerful actually. There's a sort of a, a mineraliness, there's a, a delicate stone fruit, uh, perhaps a high note of sort of blossom or something like that, and maybe a slightly estery pear droppy note as well from, from cool fermentation. Uh, just to taste it. Some quite crisp acidity. There's a slight roundness to the wine. I wonder if there's a a few grams of residual sugar in there just to bridge the gap between the fruit and the um, crisp acidity and not make it too sharp. Um, and again, you've got those slightly floral notes, delicate stone fruit, slight minerality running through, mid-length finish, fresh finish. Not too high in alcohol. I think the alcohol is twelve and a half percent on the um, on the bottle there, um, and you know some pleasant, simple, enduring flavours. Slightly bananary estery um, in the in the mouth. Certainly very enjoyable. You can understand why wine like this is so popular. Cheers.